Hey guys, Blazin here. Welcome to my analysis on Halo CE's power-ups. We're first going to be starting with the Overshield. The Overshield temporarily strengthens the user's energy shields. Overshield can be applied through two methods, through either external power sources or engineer support webs. Upon initial pickup of the Overshield, you're invincible for a few seconds and gain two extra layers of shields. There's also no visual indicator when someone picks up OS. And that's pretty much it on the overshield itself. Now I'm just going to show off some overshield jumps that you can utilize and take advantage of the invincibility trait. Alright, next, here are some things that completely negates Overshield. And the first method is very simple. Just punch the enemy in the back. Second method is a plasma grenade stick. And the final method is use the rocket launcher. Next, let's talk about Active Camouflage. Active Camo is a form of technological camouflage designed to conceal an object or personnel from visual detection by rapidly adapting to its surroundings. Active Camo technology uses a field of energy to bend light around the user, thus making them effectively invisible. The armor used by stealth elites include built-in Active Camouflage generators. These built-in generators have a severe drawback in that they divert power from the shielding equipment. Troops equipped with permanent active camouflage generators tend to have weaker shielding than those not equipped with one. Arbiter Reapamorami was equipped with an active camouflage generator capable of generating a near-perfect cloaking field indefinitely. Talcum powder and other atmospheric particles can disrupt active camo, causing the attack to overload and fail. The device also generates a considerable amount of heat, causing its user to be clearly visible on thermal goggles and some variants of the SRS-99. The UNSC on Alpha Base on Installation 04 used this advantage when their base was infiltrated by stealth elites, equipping their fire teams with infrared goggles allowing them to easily see their attackers. In addition, Spartan 2's William 043 and Kelly 087 employed talcum powder in order to overload the camouflage on reach. Upon initial pickup, it takes active camo to actually fully camo you for a few seconds and the camel power-up lasts for about 45 seconds. While we're here, active camouflage has different effects depending on what weapons you use. See, weapons like the rocket launcher, sniper rifle, and pistol have the weakest camo regrowth rates. Basically, notice how long it takes for camo to actually come back after each shot. Now, if I had to guess, the way how this system works is that basically weapons that have a zoom-in function, like the rocket launcher, sniper rifle, and pistol, they have really slow camo regrowth rates. Weapons that don't have a zoom-in function have faster camo regrowth rates. This tech is known as quick camo. Now, I'm going to list all the quick camo weapons, going from the worst quick camo to the best quick camo weapon, starting with the plasma pistol. 
And again, notice how fast you go back to camo after each shot. Now I want to talk about the Needler for a little bit, because for some reason, the Needler doesn't count as a quick camo weapon, at least I don't think so. It's weird. It's like every single shot you, you go back to camo, or like you're still camo, but as soon as you go full auto, you know, you're fully exposed, and then it, it takes a while for camo to come back. So it's kind of weird that the Needler isn't exactly a quick camo weapon, and I think it should considering how weak it is in this game. And that's pretty much it on Halo CE's power-ups. Overall, they are very unique just because of the fact that they can be manipulated by physics. And of course the quick camo feature on camo is very unique. And like I said, I do think the Needler should count as a quick camo weapon, considering how weak it is and there's no zoom-in function. The overshield jumps I showed off are just, at least if, if for me, they're the easy ones that I can do. And the camo rat race is like the only one I know how to get camo from, like without actually going to it. The skill gap of manipulating the physics of the power-ups in this game can get crazy. So what I've just showed off in this video is just scratching the surface. Alright, that's pretty much all I gotta say. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, uh, share the video around, leave a comment on what you think of these power-ups, and until next time, peace.